Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Seven Days of Die. This is going to be episode six or slash day five, I guess. I mean, we're on the sixth episode, but we're on day five. It's in the morning, so I guess I'd still consider this day five. And I, I don't know. This is the this is the sixth day that we've been playing this game. Okay, I, I guess that's I guess that's really what it is. And on this sixth day of seven days, I have a plan. Okay, here's my plan. Here's my plan. Base building. Okay, I, I you know I'm not the best base builder out there. I have a vague idea in my head of what I want the base to look like. And don't get me wrong, I have played seven days in the past, and I made bases in the past, and they were pretty solid, but they were more. I don't know, they were more cheese bases. I want to make a base that's not so cheesy, but at the same time, that's like an actual good seven days a day base. And we're gonna make it right in this location, which I still have to yet clear out fully, so we need to get started on that pronto. I'm actually gonna keep this little light here. I think it could be like aesthetically pleasing, I think in a way. So I'm gonna keep that light there. That guy is not going anywhere. So I think the plan for this base is, right? I think we're going to utilize this like little bit of a, a moat system, I guess you could say. So basically I want the zombies to go upwards. You feel me? I want them to go upwards in elevation and I want there to be a one way way for them to get to me. Maybe that'll advance in the future. Maybe there's gonna be three ways, but for now we're just gonna do a one way way for them to actually, you know, be able to get to me. So they're gonna come across here you feel me and then we're gonna have some stairs stairs are gonna go up and they're gonna go right across this moat like system and then over there is going to be like the actual base my original plan was to have all of that in this area but i felt like this area is kind of small you know what i mean now that i'm looking at it now that there's literally nothing in here this area is a little bit small and you know and, and i want this base to last for a while i want to be able to expand upon it and make it like an actual like pretty pretty dang big base so instead this area is going to be the stairs right across you know a little moat might put some water in there or whatnot not, and then we'll actually have the base over in that side my inventory is damn near full so i'm going to drop this stuff off and we can go ahead and get started with the building the building all right inventory is completely cleared now what bothers me a lot i don't know if you guys have a fix for this i really don't um but the fact that the ground isn't level now my only fix is, i know i just i didn't have a fix but my only knowledgeable fix to this is uh just putting a bunch of like planks down you know digging up this ground and putting a bunch of planks down and then it'll be like a flat area but i basically want this to be a flat area this hole right here is annoying these hills like these little hills here are kind of annoying but i mean if you guys have a fix for that please let me know i'm just gonna ignore it for now just in case you guys do have a fix for it and i you know i, I wouldn't know that unless this video was up in youtube so i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait um but other than that we need to get these stairs down and i i want to see i want to know if there's different types of stairs in in seven days of die i really don't know it seems like there are i think we're probably going to go with the stair field i don't i don't know i mean it's, it's got more it's got more rectangles on it you know what i mean so i, th I think we're going to rock with those for now Ooh, what about the stair stairs the stair stairs might be cool i don't know man i don't know i don't know like the zombie path thing and how all that works and everything like what is better to have the stairs field or like the stair stairs i think we're gonna rock with the stairs field. if you guys know an answer to that question as well please let me know but for now i think we're gonna rock with the stairs field and i'm thinking that i want the elevation of the house to be four blocks high um but i don't want it to be too far out that way you know what i mean because that like that's a lot of blocks from there to here. That's that's a decent amount. You know, that's a that's a nice chunk. So I think we're gonna start it here. Somewhere not right in the middle, but like, you know, somewhere close-ish to the middle. I think uh where are we at? Oh yeah, that's good. That's good right there. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's good. So we're gonna do that. Um, let me get some more wooden frames out. Not 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 there. I need them in my inventory. Take it up a little bit um and then we'll just we'll just keep going with this pattern all right the stairs of up i've i've been doing like a little bit of a minecraft type of stairway system uh where you have like regular rotated stair and then you got the upside down stair right there so i don't know like you know integrity wise if that's like a good idea but i think it looks cool for the most part and we gotta take this guy out bro this man's gonna be spitting up everywhere come on man come on man i'm trying to make a house here i don't need you interrupting me brother one more okay okay there we go Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. But I like the way that this looks so far. So I think I'm, I think I'm gonna stick with it. I'm not sure if it's like a good thing to do, like, uh, cause I know that uh, if your your buildings have like integrity, uh, integrity, and they can like collapse on you and everything like that. I don't want, you know, I don't want that to happen. Um, but like, I, I might replace this just to add like a support beam right here. I think that'd be kind of nice. The support beam right here and the support beam over there would be pretty nice. So I think that's what we're gonna rock. Yeah, something like this looks really good. I like this. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. So basically what I did, I added a plate here and I added a, uh, a plate here. So this is something that I picked up 
on um in, in seven days to die this adds like support right here so like you can walk through this zombies can can't hit this or if they do hit it they like barely hit it but it still adds like support so you know seven days that i think this is a solid block basically which is really really nice so i basically did that and i added a beam support right here um and then i just added another one right up there um, so that way it has the support. It looks nice as well, which is really, really good. So the rest of the base is basically going to be, I, I think it was vault doors that I wanted to use. I got to do a little bit of research, but I believe it was vault doors. Let me, let me check. Let me check. You can regulate the zombie flow rate by setting up some obstacles. Okay, guys, this is what I have so far. And I'll be, I'll be completely honest. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've got no idea what I'm doing. So, so far we got this little bit of a pathway here, which I, I think will work pretty fine. And I also plan on using the sledge to knock zombies off and everything. So they walk across here, right? And then right here is going to be like the killing base. I'm going to bring this up like one more floor, obviously, but right here is pretty much going to be the killing base. I'm just having trouble with the, like the outline of it. Um, So these are where my support beams are going to go. I'm going to be using the slate support beams like all the way around just for like you know to add an extra defense i'm just having trouble like with a design pretty much or like where things i, I don't know for lack of a better word where things need to go because i really have no type of idea here at all and I'm, I'm i'm out of words let me know what you guys think i'm I, i'm gonna keep trying trying new things and and seeing how things go but i'm definitely just out of words okay so i actually do think i got something going here um so i basically added like a bunch of frames i guess you ooh, game freeze i guess you could say and then we're just gonna connect the frames all the way up and then we're gonna add the pillars to that and then on top of those frames is going to be the actual base itself uh, which i think might actually turn out to be kind of nice i think i'm gonna add plates instead of blocks up there uh, I'm not sure how that's going to react with like buildings and stuff. I'm not sure if I'll be able to place buildings on top of the, 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 um, the little plates instead of like these, like, will I be able to place a chest on this or will it act like a block and make me place it on top of it? That's, that's pretty much my question. I'm not sure which one is going to do which, um, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But that's pretty much my gameplay for now and, uh, what I got going on and I'm not scared of the dark. All right. And we're not scared of the dark. We're going to keep on doing this. All right. We're not, we're not going to, we're not going to back off just because some zombies are coming through. I want to finish this base and we're going to finish this base. Alrighty guys, here's where we're at so far. All right, look at this, look at this, look at this. You like it, you like it, you like it. I like it too, okay? I like it too. So uh, I'm not completely done with it yet. So far, so good though. I had a little bit of a zombie horde come at me. That's why I'm infected with a broken bone for the next eight minutes and a little bit less health than I started with. But other than that, we're doing pretty damn good. All right, we're doing pretty good. So I have made this entire front level here. To like, You see where this block is? I made this entire thing too high. So the zombies are coming across here, right? where the way that i had it is i had these little frames here i have to replace these with blocks just like this because this is the level my base is going to be at right but i had these here these like little poles here which means my base was going to be one higher up here which have been bad because the zombies are coming across here so it was either lower this by one or up in that by one which i could have done but i feel like uh it'll been beneficial or more beneficial for my base to be one level lower than one level higher um so that's pretty much what we're doing now just going throughout replacing all of this and this is pretty much oops this is pretty much where the base is going to be and how it's going to be done all right i'll get you guys back when Mac actually finished. All right, guys, this is what we have so far, and I'm pretty confident that I'll get this done before day seven. We're, we're at day six, 10, 1000. So we got we got a full day and then some. So I, I'm pretty confident we'll get done with this within, you know, day seven, at least the, the bare bones 
wooden version of it. I don't think we're going to be able to upgrade the cobblestone, but for just the se first seven days of that, I think we're good. So basically, we got this little stairway here. Uh, the zombies are going to come up this little stairway system. Keep in mind, this is very bare bones, okay? It's, I've been working this for a while, okay? okay? Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. But they come across here, um, and then this is going to be like the killing chamber or whatnot. I haven't really thought of a design for this, um, but obviously, all of this is going to be covered up, and I'm going to like shoot or maybe even melee and, and pretty much just take all the zombies out. Right there, we're gonna have our um, we're gonna have our little boomy man, boomy boomer arm man, which I need to go get him. Um, but he's just gonna be there to just push zombies off, which is gonna add, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be better. Um, inside of here, these are pretty much all the support beam pillars that I've brought up. This is gonna be for the roof, uh, just so that the roof doesn't collapse on us when we're building it, which would be horrible. I've had it happen so many times, so many times to be horrible. So that's why I brought these pillars up here. And the support beam so we know where where they are um and i added these little bit of security gates here uh just for viewing points because sometimes zombies do like the even, even the way that these uh support beams are where there's like a space in the gap between them sometimes they're actually able to hit those so if they are able to hit those and i see them hitting them i would like to be able to shoot down below and kill them off just to you know it's just to stop them from you know trying to kill me you feel me uh so i got these all the way around if you guys have any other like suggestions for the base please let me know i was thinking about doing the uh, the little vertical version of these but uh, i want to put items here like i want to have chests here i want to have crafting stations here and like i'm not going to be able to see out of these like windows i guess or like areas here if i have the crafting stations here you feel me so i, I felt like it was kind of useless to have it there maybe we could think of some other design that might not be use useless but until then i think we're just going to keep it like this um add like these maybe some little windows or whatnot but you know have like storages here maybe like some forges here you know crafting station here grinders here whatever whatever it may be i think that'd be really really good um, but this is pretty much the base. I might add like a little back area here for like uh, ladders and everything because I do want to have a second story. I'm not sure if I'll be able to support a second story considering how high we are already. Um, but if we are, then I think a second story would be kind of nice for just for like extra stuff. I don't know what I would use for it, but just pretty much pretty much for just, you know, extra stuff or whatnot. But um, I'm not I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I've been recording for a good hour and 30 minutes. Usually I record for an hour. I don't want my episode to be too long. Hopefully it's not. I apologize if it was like 10 minutes, but I'm going to end the episode here thank you guys for watching please tune in for the next one next episode we are going to be completely done with this base but i think this is a good starting point i honestly truly do believe like this is a really really good starting point for for us right now so i appreciate you guys watching thank you thank you thank you and i'll see you guys next episode peace